Hi guys, welcome to Biscuits Total War. This is Biscuits giving you a little tutorial on how to use Game Ranger online to play Rome Total War. Now obviously you can use this to play Medieval Total War or any other games online. But I'm primarily building this video together to show you how to play Rome Total War. As a lot of you are aware that the Game Spiral server on the 31st of May has actually been closed down. Therefore, once that's been closed down, you won't be able to play Rome Total War online the way that we normally play it. For example, bringing up Rome Total War, going clicking on a multiplayer, online battles, and going in that way. What you have to do is play it via Game Ranger. Uh, so this video today is going to show you actually how to do that. Now, it took me a while to work out how to use Game Ranger. It's fairly simple. Uh, but I thought this video would help a lot of people, especially if you're like myself, you're not 100% sure and you want to make sure that you're doing it correctly. So uh, the first thing you've got to do is actually get a hold of Rome Total War as a CD version. If you've got it as a Steam version, in other words you bought the game via Steam, unfortunately you're going to have to go out and buy another version. Now there's lots of different ways of doing this. You can either jump online, go to Amazon if you wanted to, I believe if you go to Amazon, you can buy it pretty cheap. I'll just have a quick look at what they're charging you at the moment. I mean, this is the UK version, so obviously if you're in America, France, or wherever, there's probably other ways of buying it. But in the UK, you can buy it as cheap as a penny or for two quid secondhand. Uh, so it's really as cheap as it can go. It's cheaper than a pint. Or you can jump on to eBay if you wanted to. Let's have a quick little look to see what they're going for. I imagine it's pretty much a similar price. That you can buy it as little as a pound, one pound. Um, <laughs> you can buy the original version with a big fold-out map uh, for a fiver or for a few dollars. But it's uh, really cheap. You know, it's a one-off purchase. Uh, definitely recommend going out and buying it. Uh, if you've got it on Steam, it's only going to cost you a couple of extra quid. Um, what's that at the end of the day? It's nothing. So once you've got the game, what you need to do is to actually uninstall the Steam version of Rome. That's if you've already got it. So if you've got the Steam version of Rome Total War, what you need to do is uninstall it. To do that, just jump onto your Steam page, go to Library, and then you want to right click on the relevant game. Now I've actually already uninstalled my Rome Total War version on Steam. So I'll give you an example how it works with another game. You just click on the relevant game, right click on it, go to properties and then you go to this little tab called local files, click on that and then click on delete local game content, click on delete there and then it uninstalls the game. Now just close that down so in the background that's going to be uninstalling in the meantime what you need to do is install your CD version which I've already done I'm sure I don't need to show you guys how to install the game uh, so get that installed and then what you need to do is download Game Ranger now it couldn't be any simpler, go to Google, type in Game Ranger, it's the first tab, click on download, and again I'm pretty sure I don't need to show you guys how to download the game, just download it, save it to your PC, and you're good to go. Once you've installed Rome Total War, the CD version, and the Game Ranger version, then you're pretty much all good to go. So you just double click on Game Ranger, close that down. Now what will happen is your computer, your computer even, uh, Game Ranger will work out what games you've got installed on your PC. So if you go to the center tab and click on my games it brings up Rome Total War. Now if you go to all games it brings up all of the games on Game Ranger. Now you won't be able to join all of the games because you might not have all of these games installed on your PC. So if you just go to center tab, my games, it pulls up the relevant games that you can join. 
Now, what you need to do is to make sure that Steam has uninstalled, not inst uninstalled, sorry, Rome Total War version already is uninstalled. Because if it's not uninstalled, when you try and join one of these games, it's going to try and bring up Steam and it's going to try and join the game as if you were playing it via Steam and it won't work. So just make sure that your Rome Total War Steam version is uninstalled and that your CD version is installed. So what you need to do, um, another thing to make sure that the game works, if you go to this bar at the top, go to edit, options. Now this is going to bring up all of the games that you can play on Game Ranger. If we scroll down to Roam Total Wall, if you go to this thing called Browse, what you want to make sure is that this browse option has got your Rome Total War selected. What I mean that is that when you join, start the game, it's going to automatically launch Rome Total War. So you want to make sure that this file path here is correct. So the way to do that is you go into your programs where you've installed Rome Total War. In my case, I've made a little folder for it. And then where Rome Total War is installed, you have a little icon here. You just want to click on that and go to open. This means that when you run Rome Total War, it's going to run it from your CD or where you've installed the game. So once that's done, you want to make sure that your CD, Rome Total War, is actually in your CD drive. And then all you need to do is physically host the game. Okay, so let's uh, host this game. Um, just going to make it a, a two-player game. Uh, one versus one. I'm putting a little password on there. You don't have to put a password on. I've just done it for this example. Now you'll see this little box will pop up saying port restricted uh, cone NAT router. Just ignore that. Uh, click on continue. Everyone gets that message. So don't How be do you worried turn your about that. Into a highly productive force to be reckoned with. And tell them what happens with is you get one of these adverts which provide your people the freedom to work, collaborate and share information on the go. And with the cloud, it can be done from virtually any device with the confidence you get from enterprise grade security. Here because we go. in today's connected world, work doesn't have to happen only at work. Now you can see that this the, uh, is the game Microsoft cloud has been hosted. Let's go wait for this advert to finish. There we go. Now that it's finished, you can see this other guy has joined. Um, all we need to do is click on Start. And what will happen is, you can see Rome Total War, and now it will load up onto our screen. There we go. Now I've had to jump onto the fraps. Now when Rome Total War loads up, what we'll do, we'll load up to this screen where you actually create your game. I've just typed in my name of the game and gone to Grassy Flatlands, etc. And then once I've done that, the other player will then just jump into that room. It's really as simple as that. And then you can just start your game as per normal, um, like you would normally do. Choose your relevant faction, play your game, and you're good to go. So the next part I'll show you is actually how to join a game, okay? One second. Okay, so I've showed you actually how to create a game. I'm going to show you now how to join the game. So if I joined this game at the top, it's asked me for a, um, a password. Not normally people will put a password on there. It's just to give you an example. And again, this little box pops up. Just click on continue, ignore that, so you don't need to worry about it. Bing versus Google, blind and test, the have public decides. A, uh, Let's bing it on. What is your favourite search moment. engine? Google, obviously. So I'm going to bet you a new Xbox, in a blind test, you would choose Bing over Google. If you choose Bing, you give me a jumper. Oh, it's Bing! I need the jumper, madam. Nice jumper, by the way. Oh, fits oh. like and a dream. For the second year in blind tests, using the UK's most popular web up. searches, two, more people beat moments. Bing results than Google. See for yourself at bingiton.com. Let's bing it on.
There we go. And again, uh, what will happen is because the other person's host of the game, it will just take you straight through to the place where you would choose your factions. Now, if you had four players, it'd be uh, more screens there. If you had eight players, obviously, it'd be just like it'd normally be. But it's really as simple as that, in all honesty. You don't need to worry about fiddling part of your router or uh, unblocking ports or port forwarding. It's just a case of you know clicking, joining the game, and making sure Steam is uninstalled. Now, I've tried to make this video as simple as possible. Hopefully, that's going to be okay there for you guys. Again, if you have any queries or questions, leave me a little comment. I'll do my best to answer it. If this video has been at all or any help, please like it. Please pass it on to your friends so hopefully more guys can check out Rome Total War on Game Ranger. This is Biscuit signing out and I'm wishing you all the best. Okay, bye now.